finding zeros using square root. This is the second lesson in our series of using square root to find answers. In the last lesson we found zero, I'm sorry, we found x-intercepts using square root. And in this lesson we're going to find zeros of a function using square root. Okay? So get, let's get ready and get started. The zero of a function is the value of the input x that makes the output f of x, or we could say y, equal zero. That makes sense because it's called a zero. So we want to find x when y is zero. The zeros of a function are the x-intercepts that we found yesterday. So to find the zeros, just find the x-intercepts. So basically, in this lesson, all we're learning is that another name for x-intercept is zero. The only difference here is when you find the answer, you don't have to write it as an ordered pair when you write a zero. So if you came up with x equals three, then you would just say x equals three is the zero. Okay, let's look at an example. We want to find the zeros of this function. y equals 1 half times x minus 1 squared minus 18. So if you'll remember, we'll go back to the steps from x-intercepts and we're going to replace the y with a zero. And then we're going to solve for x. But before we can solve for x, we have to solve for the squared part, if you'll remember, because the last thing is we're going to take the square root to get the x by itself. Okay? So let's go ahead and work. We want to get we have to get rid of adding 18, I mean subtract, subtracting 18 and get rid of this multiplication. So the inverse operation of subtraction is addition. So we're going to add 18 to both sides of the equation. And that's going to give us 18 equals one half times x minus one squared. Now, I have to get rid of the multiplication of the one half, so I'll divide by one half. And if you remember, dividing fractions is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So when I do that, I'm just gonna multiply by the reciprocal of one half, which is two over one. So 18 times two over one is 36. And that's gonna equal, those halves cancel, x minus one, squared. Okay, so now I have the squared part all by itself, so the next thing I do is take the square root of both sides. And now the square root of 36, if you remember, it gives us two answers. The positive and the negative square root of 36 is 6, and that's going to equal x minus 1. So now I go write my two equations. 6 equals x minus 1 or negative 6 equals x minus 1. I'll add 1 to both sides. To get all those ones to cancel and that gives me 7 equals x or negative 5 equals x. Now since I'm finding zeros and not intercepts, this is more mathematical, so I'm going to leave it in this form and not have to write it as an ordered pair. Okay? If there was anything you didn't understand about that, go back and re-watch those parts of the video. And make sure you complete the whisk, and we'll see you in class to do some work on this.